it odd, seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through, exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war? Not yet. First, they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey, they haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. Then I say we bring them down before they get the chance. They don't know about you, Mina. And they certainly don't know me. It's more... No, it is that simple. Trust me. And if they've got Halbeck on their side, then they're doubly screwed. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Mike, I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike, about Madison in Rome, I... That's behind me. I didn't mean to put you in danger. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm glad it did. It exposed a problem that should have been fixed a long time ago. Halbeck? And Alpha Protocol. I suppose you already have a plan. Save the day? Somehow. But first I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy. And prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. I don't want you going back there. Chances are they know about you. And if so... All right. There's another safe house I can hide out in until this blows over. But this could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III is it on the horizon. A recent European Union study published by the Scarpacci Group, a Rome-based political think tank, lists 37 points of concern, including a sharp upswing in terrorist activity in the past month. Scarlet? Come in, Mike. Your door was open. You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. Footsteps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. 
What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? Something wrong? If so, maybe I can help. Wrong? I don't know, Mike. You seem to be a complicated person. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. Contacts? So you've been checking up on me? I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the U.S. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. You ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. I accidentally discovered something in Saudi Arabia I shouldn't have. Something that could ruin Halbeck. What did you find out? I found they'd been selling weapons to Al Samad, and I got proof. Is that why you're here? I don't trust anyone else with it. And if something happens to me, then the world needs to know. It's that bad, huh? Pretty bad. I'll make sure it gets where it needs to go. Are you going to be all right? I have no idea. Do you need to leave right now? No, I can stay. For a little while if you need me to. Considering I might not see you again, I'd like that. The world can wait then. The old man gave me a false number. Communications decrypted. Signal established. Albatross. Your signal's weak. I can barely see you. Agent Thornton, Mike, my apologies for the poor connection. It's the price one pays for privacy. I can only spare a few minutes, so tell me what you need, quickly. I'm infiltrating the Alpha Protocol facility, and I need your help. I see. This is sooner than I expected. If you think I know the location of the facility, I can't help you. I can get there. What I need is whatever intel or manpower you can provide, once I'm inside. If you can get in and transmit the location. But once you transmit the coordinates, you'll need to buy yourself some time before I can intervene. May I ask why you're infiltrating the agency? It seems counterproductive, not to mention the low chance of success. I have to do this, and I have to find out the truth of what's going on there. I can pay you for your help, Albatross. You don't need to pay me, Mike. An alliance with you and your continued survival has proven to be in my best interests. When I was at Braco's mercy, you chose to intervene. I've not forgotten. And you spared Sis when you had no reason to do so. 
Now it is my turn to help you. You're not getting compassionate in your old age, are you? Consider it a payment for services rendered. One doesn't kill the Golden Goose. Or an albatross. Seems doing both would be... unwise. I would agree. Once you reach your destination, we shall prove it. Until then, I shall ensure the south wind is at your back. Enjoy your flight. I'll see you soon. Welcome, Agent Thornton. This is the meeting I spoke of long ago in Saudi Arabia, I believe. I have much to share with you. Is it about Halbeck? A portion of it is, yes. The rest concerns its partner, your Alpha Protocol program. But that, that will cost you. I don't have much more to give, Shahid. And I did spare your life before. You know as well as I do. These events that Helbeck has set in motion, they are not well researched. They are conflicts. And then there are wars. What they have started, it is a fire that will sweep the globe. And that concerns you? When these events will make my country suffer more than it deserves? Yes. And when another may shoulder the rightful blame? Again, yes. Rightful blame. Indeed. Are you prepared to betray your own country, Agent Thornton? When I speak of blame, it is the United States that is the one responsible for these events. I've come this far, and I'm already acting against its best intentions, apparently. And you have no doubts on this? As soon as they conspired with Halbeck, they ceased being the government I'm fighting for. Even though you once owed them allegiance? My duty isn't to them. My duty is to make sure no one uses other nations as a playground for their financial or religious agendas, especially when people get killed because of it. I see. You are an admirable man, Agent Thornton. I misjudged you when we first met. I don't think so. And after this, we're through. So if you're thinking of replacing Halbeck and causing more trouble, I'll track you down. With or without Alpha Protocol. Very well. You should know the Alpha Protocol you are under. It is designed for such abuse, and you are a victim of it. I know. But I walked into it, and it's my job to fix it. I see. But, you have come for help, or simply to call a favor due. I have information that should be of use to you in hurting Halbeck. Accounts, transactions, and knowledge of their involvement with your program. And of course, the missile codes you asked for. Although I fail to see what use they are to you. That's a start. A start? Yes. I need you to broadcast something for me. I have a suspicion that's going to cause quite a stir where I'm headed.
take care of what you had to do. Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. Are you safe? Probably safer than you. Mike, if this doesn't work... Goodbye, Mina. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It's a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? Have you ever had an intern, had an intern position at a position government, government agency? agency. I, have, I have. Need I say more? Yeah. Yeah. All my exercise was with papers, papers from papers desk to desk. To desk. I'm here to do I'm work, to do not work. sit back and manage, manage it. Manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. Was it all you expected, Mike? Looking back, was it all worth it now? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured. Do you know what I like most about our relationship, Henry? It's these special moments, you and I, talking about the world. It's really cozy. So when you're asking me if it's all worth it, not yet. But it will be when I look back on this years from now and get this beautiful wave of nostalgia. Never mind then, Thornton. Seems... I'm not done. What I'm gonna remember most is how you thought you had it all under control before this little plan of yours came crashing down around you. All right, Thornton. I think you misunderstand me. You see, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to offer you a deal. I'm not giving up the film footage, see? I don't care, Mike. That's a separate appointment in my calendar. Right now, we're discussing you and Hellback. What are you talking about? If you stay here, it isn't going to turn out well for you. The best you could have hoped for was to be captured by Alpha Protocol. Then they can erase you, quietly. To me, that seems like a waste of talent. Really? Really? Do you know why I used you in the first place? I'm all ears. Because I recognize an asset when I see it. That is the reason Hellbeck is where it is today. And why our numbers are so high. It's also why Mr. Marburg chose to work for me. It's because I recognize value, and I reward loyalty. You're offering me a job. Mike, you already work for me. i just like to make it official. We have an excellent insurance package. What makes you think I'd even consider that? Because you can't go back. You found out too much. You know where all the embarrassing little connections are. That makes you a good agent, but a rather large liability. Me? I have a different perspective on the situation. I know what you did needed to be done to achieve results. It's a rare quality to find someone willing to think outside the box. I still haven't heard your terms yet. And it sounds like you've made this offer before. This was the same talk Marburg and I had a long time ago. Although I didn't know his agency connection when I hired him. You're a special case. I was able to recruit right from the source. So, a few things. One, you're going to be executed at worst, or at best, spend life in a CIA prison in Eastern Europe. Two, this will be the last conversation you will have with another human being. And three, it really wasn't my fault that this whole situation happened, but I think you already recognize that. What a surprise to hear you say that. 
Anything else would be admitting responsibility. We wouldn't want that. Actually, responsibility and accountability factors into it. Mike, your government needed my contracts. They hired me to build this place. And worst of all, they created you. Worst of all? Yes, because when they create programs like this, there's no accountability. And when people never have to answer for the things they do... It's amusing to hear you say that. Is this a pot talking to a kettle right now, or...? No, it's not. You're sitting in a cell because of it. Your life over. Because of something they did, they'll never have to answer for. I can fix that. We can fix that. How? Make them accountable. I don't need Alpha Protocol anymore. It's going to be shut down, sanitized. But if selected footage reached the world about its presence, well, that might be the best for all parties. What? So you can make new hostilities, drive up sales? My role in this is already protected. You got my missiles back. Shahid is dead, and all your operations in Taipei, Moscow, Rome, it didn't change anything. I can give you freedom, a new lease on life, even a villa of your choosing anywhere in the world. All I need is your cooperation. So, is it a deal or not? A future or no future at all? I've given it careful thought, and I think the words I'm looking for are, fuck off. You and Alpha Protocol aren't getting away with this. I'm gonna drag you out to the light. <sighs> Disappointing. Although, one last thing I'm curious about. Since you have every angle covered, what happened to that footage, Mike? The one of the airliner you had in your possession? It's safe. Oh, you mean with Scarlet? What? You mean safe with Scarlet. That's who you gave it to. I didn't say that. No, she did when we asked. She's here, you know. She was resistant at first, but, well... If you hurt her... I'll have her tortured if I have to, make no mistake about it. Who knows what sorts of secrets she could reveal. But enough about her. You've lost all your efforts for nothing. You can't stop us. If you say so, who am I to contradict you? You're a confident man, Agent Thornton, but there's no place for you to run now. Soon, all trace of this facility will be erased, and you along with it. After all, it never really existed in the first place. Leyland? Hmm? What is it? You've got something on your tie. Childish. Maybe, but it's a start. A little taste of the humiliation to come. If that's all you've left, Thornton, I overestimated you. Of course you did. See, when all's said and done, you're going to be the media's next best friend, Leyland. I promise you. Amusing. Not really. Well then, you'd best get to it, Mr. Thornton. You have an hour. I look forward to your efforts. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. I'm surprised you haven't figured it out yet, Marbert. I know your history. I know the United States left you out to dry. Deus Volt, all of it. Uh -huh. But it doesn't seem like you learned anything from it. You served Deus Volt blindly. And now you're answering to Leyland and Halbeck. Your point? Trading one master for another, Marburg? Seems to me blind loyalty is what got you here in the first place. Everything you know about Leyland should tell you what your future is. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Doc will be along in just a bit to administer your meds. Nice knowing you, Thornton. Michael, darling. I was wondering why you were tied up, although I had not expected the reason to be so 
little one. Z, good to see you. You'll have to excuse me if I don't get up. Oh, you will rise to the occasion, Michael, I am sure. It is good you have time to rest with all this trouble going on. This bed, is this is how you woke up here, yeah? The restraints were a little weaker the first time, and I'm not doped up. The restraints? Mm. Are they too tight? Enough with the small talk. Why are you here, Z? I am here because I never got the chance to tell you my feelings. And now you have no choice but to listen. Great. Why, Michael, I never thanked you. Humiliating Conrad like that. A girl dreams of such things happening to her boss. Good. If you want to thank me, then let me go. Not quite yet, I think. Michael, I have a, a confession to make. Ever since we met, I have had a certain fondness for you. You are so eager. Okay. Mm, it is a shame to see such a fine specimen restrained like this. I am tempted to set you free. I wouldn't want to get in the way of temptation, though I'm a little curious as to why. I do not like Marburg, and he has paid me already. I'm free to leave, but you, you are not. It is not fair. So, I will let you go in a moment. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Relax, darling, but not too long. And I thought I might have to work harder. You would if I wasn't tied down. Shh. Good. Now, no more talking. Okay. Holy... Uh... Now, can you let me go? Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael. I unlocked your wrists five minutes ago. You were too busy holding on to your bed to notice. I am flattered. I have done what I must do. Now, you must go do what you must do. Maybe there's something to be said for experiments. Hmm. I wonder if the camera was recording. What the hell is going on in there? You look naked without your weapons. They are in the locker nearby. Get dressed, and let us start the killing. Much better. Now, you must get to the Global Monitoring Center and get access to the system. And all its secrets. I did not just do that in my medical bay. But it smells like cat piss until it in there. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Agent? Or is it just Mike Thornton now, with the rank stripped away? Never understood why we had titles anyway. Meaningless. 
I don't understand why you wanted to speak to me. If you think I can help you, you're wrong. We'll see. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say. I wanted to talk to you about what happened in Rome. If you think your efforts in Rome caused any inconvenience, the bomb failed to go off, yes, but it renewed talks in terrorist legislation, so it was satisfactory. Not quite as much of an effect as hoped, but... And your daughter getting killed? Was that all right with you too? What? Your daughter, Madison. She was in Rome. Marburg shot her in the back, right in front of me. Out of revenge for stopping the bomb. And why would he do that? Oh, he didn't know she was your daughter. But he was so pissed at the time, I don't think he would have cared. I don't believe you. Then ask him. Ask him if a Madison worked at his company, and if she was one of the casualties in Rome. Madison St. James. St. James? Your wife's maiden name. Madison took it to distance herself from you, and you know why she did it. I don't care if you believe me, Parker, but just ask Marburg. You have nothing to lose. This conversation is over, Agent. Damn it. Parker. Just make sure you don't run away before we get to chat.
tried to get here sooner. I'm sorry. You're sorry. This is my fault. I didn't cover my tracks well enough. They were following me when I met you at the hotel. And as soon as they had you, Darcy and his agents captured me. Is that who hit you? Yeah, but I hit him first. I'm getting you out of here. Can you stand? Yeah, mostly it's my pride that's hurt. But, Mike, this facility is sealed off. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, that's why I feel sorry for you. You never give up, do you? Not as long as you're there with me. You ready? It might get a little rough. Rough for them, maybe. Us, not so much. Are those fingernail scratches on the back of your neck? I was... attacked. I don't want to get in. Do what I can to shut down the security systems. To break the guards. Go on ahead. I'll circle around and get to a turn. Come the cavalry. You see Darcy? Save some for me. Show up. 
Help me with the cleaning. Michael, do not be afraid. Go on in. I'll cover the door so that you are not uh, interrupted. You're not getting far. I'll be watching you. Access to the files. What is taking so long? I'm confirming some details on the Rome operation. Just get the job done. Yeah, I could use some help. Can you get on that other terminal? I need someone to log in on a secondary station. What? Fine. I understand you killed my daughter in Rome. Shot her in the back. What? Madison St. James. My daughter. You're wrong, and don't point that gun at me. <gasps> what next? The fools locked us out of the system. The files Sir, are still. Sir, we're in a shot. Not now. We need to get a tech up here. Saint James was his daughter. Of all the. Everyone, search the area. Be on your guard. I don't think we've seen the last of Mr. Thor yet. There you go. Kill him! Yes, you have all the documents to stop them and the agents guard them. Oh, he lost my believer Zillian.
your men ready. On it. Mikey won't get by me. for the wreckage. There might be survivors. for you. This is the real deal. Keep him busy. I'll be back in a second. The only way out is here. Come on now. Got some for you. getting rid of some staff. I asked for more weapons and ammo on the chopper. The one that has the missile accident. Get to it. See what you can recover. I knew Darcy would fuck this up.
Did you reach the crash site, Michael? No, there's another helicopter in the way. Ah, then I will call you back later, after you have killed it.
Nice job, Mike. But I can't let you leave with that data. Give up now, and we'll go easy on you. Fuck off, Westridge. Just make sure you don't run away before we get to chat. Take him out. Michael, the transport is coming in, and space, they are Can you hurry and kill your friend, please? Looks like Westridge has holed up his control. He's got men swarming the area. Remove the pests, and then go in after your boss. Without his men, I think he will be more direct with you. As for the incoming vessel, let me handle that. Keep the water flowing. It shouldn't be long until we can launch the rope. If you're gonna kill me, then do it. I'm not sure I want to. Yet. I guess I need some closure. I volunteered for this program, but I couldn't have made it into Alpha Protocol if you hadn't chosen me. What I want to know is why. I needed someone who could kill Shahid, get the missiles back, and keep their mouth shut. I needed someone I could trust. I didn't have much choice. Orders and all. That's your defense? Then it's mine, too. I had my orders. We carry them out, send out agents, and we don't ask why. Say what you will. You had what it took to get the job done, and then some. That's why you were selected. It was my life. <laughs> what life? You knew the odds going in. You wanted to serve your country. Well, this is it. If I stayed in the program, I'd have ended up like you. Or worse, like Parker that someone would have come along who owes one of their corporate buddies a favor, Halbeck or someone else, and we get used because we've been conditioned never to ask. Believe it or not, Halbeck's interests are our interests. We need their technology. No, we don't. They almost caused a war, and we helped them. For what? To secure some government contracts? If you're gonna kill me, kill me. If you're gonna ask for your life back, then ask. But don't waste my time. My life? Now, how did you put it? Oh, uh -huh, yes. What life? It was my choice to sign up for Alpha Protocol. Now I see where it leads. This program is all you know, Mike. Leave it, and you have nothing. Really, what are you gonna do? Get revenge? Expose the agency? Or maybe you came back because what you really needed was another mission. My goals are a little higher than that. Any last words? Yeah. Go to hell. Not the best I've heard, but... Yancey Westridge, I'm placing you under arrest. You're going down with the ship. They may not blow this place, and if they don't, then your home is going to be a courtroom for the next few years. If you even get that far. They'll probably claim you were acting without their knowledge. That you enacted Alpha Protocol, went rogue. Where are you going? Now that I'm out of the box? It's my world now. I helped shape it. It was easier than I thought. And it's time to make some changes, I think. I'm sorry it came to this, Westridge, but you taught me an important lesson. I think there's other ways of serving my country without Alpha Protocol. Watch the news. You'll see.
Why, Thornton? What is it you want? To see you brought to justice. Please, Agent, don't be a fool. Yeah. How dare you hit me? That's for Madison. That's for what you did to Mina. That's for my life. I could keep this up all day. Now, tell me what else I can't do. You think you can give me orders? Think you have control of this situation? Thornton, hold on. I... I'll give myself up. Testify, if that's what you want. I can say what happened here, with your mission. And all I have to do is let you go, right? See, that's where you lose my interest. I knew you'd be reasonable about this. I suppose you think you've talked your way out of this. I know what matters to you, Leyland. And for the next few years, seeing you drag through courtroom after courtroom and watching Halbeck fall apart is enough for me. If it comes to that, you mean? It will. Trust me. All the evidence I have is going exactly where it needs to go. I think you're in for some disappointment. The government won't allow my involvement with Alpha Protocol to be exposed. Alpha Protocol? What's that? They'll just deny it exists. See you on TV, Leyland. Should be quite the circus. You're late. I had to kill some soldiers on the way here. I'll add it to your bill. Scarlet. Now there's a picture. Yes, Mike? Don't be surprised. You did cost me the Sun contract, you know. So you were the assassin. And quite an expensive one. So for Sun, Mike, I actually should thank you. Well, that depends on how much you're going to pay me to kill Mike here. I don't think you have a contract to kill me yet, Scarlet. And I don't know if Leyland would honor it at this stage. You have a point. And I still haven't seen the money for Sun. I can pay you. Kill him, and then we can discuss it, but we need to leave now. Discuss it? There's no discussion. You owe me a lot of money, Leyland. God damn it, shoot him already! I don't have time for this! You thought this was a negotiation? What? Sorry, Mike. You were never on the list. You could have been. So next time... I'll stay clear. Oh, and Mike, here's that footage you gave me. I'd rather not explain to the press how I came across it. I'll leave that up to you. All right then, take care of yourself. Mission accomplished, Agent? Just Mike, if you please. Let's get out of here. Where to? I have no idea. I don't even know where here is. Surprise me. That'd be a change. What's that supposed to mean? You're not the most predictable person, Mike. Keeping up with you is a lot of work. Well, we've made it this far. I think we're done with surprises for a while. We'll see. I bet there's one or two more in our future.
More setbacks for troubled Halbeck Industries today as Russian federal police uncovered extensive evidence linking the corporation's senior officers to illegal arms trafficking. This setback comes on the heels of a mysterious disappearance of Halbeck CEO Henry Leland, who vanished from his San Francisco office earlier this month. American law enforcement is cooperating with Interpol to locate him. Along with the indictments against Halbeck, several prominent Muscovite politicians and business leaders have been arrested in connection with the scandal. A series of coordinated bombings in the West Bank left hundreds dead earlier today in an attack carried out by the Al-Samad terror network. In a video statement claiming credit for the attack, Al-Samad leader Ali Shahid said that these attacks would continue until Al-Samad's demands were met, demands which include a complete pullout of American troops from the entirety of the Islamic world. The attacks were carried out using primitive homemade explosives, which limited the casualties. Experts say that had the suicide bombers had access to high-quality military-grade bombs, the death toll could have easily been twice as high. INN Middle East policy analysts have attributed this fact to the recent drop in arms trafficking in the region, since coalition forces shut down the arms network of Mohammed Omar bin Nasri earlier this month. Thousands lined the streets of Rome today for the funeral of Madison St. James, the young woman killed during the failed bombing attempt of the Roman Museum of Natural History. Miss St. James has become celebrated among proponents of stronger government anti-terror legislation since her death, and her funeral at times resembled a political rally. In the United States, Senator Patrick Darcy proposed Madison's Law, a sweeping bill some have likened to a new Patriot Act in response to the tragedy. As Miss St. James had no known family, Senator Darcy personally paid for her funeral here in Rome. Uncertainty still grips Taiwan in the wake of the deadly riots at last month's political rally. With the death toll standing at over 300, concerns have been raised that President Ronald Sung's pro-independence government has become too aggressive. President Sung survived an assassination attempt during the rally, which many critics are calling an attempt to incite a war between Taiwan and mainland China. President Sung has refused to back down in the wake of the attempt on his life, and in a speech made earlier this week declared that his life meant nothing compared to Taiwanese independence. Taiwanese authorities announced the execution of attempted assassin Wen Shu today. Investigators have uncovered no motive for the assassination attempt. A copy of Catcher in the Rye, a novel famously associated with conspiracy theories and secret American brainwashing programs, was found in his apartment, leading to internet speculation that Wen Shu was an American sleeper agent planted to assassinate Sung and touch off a war with China. U.S. government sources have declined comment.